Dalhousie University was founded in 1818. By 2007, the 100th year of engineering education in Nova Scotia, fewer than 15 African Nova Scotians had graduated from Dalhousie University with an engineering degree. The first African Nova Scotian female to complete an engineering degree at Dalhousie graduated in 2010. By 2007, fewer than five African Nova Scotians had graduated from the School of Medicine. The first known African Nova Scotian to enter the graduate degree program in physics began her studies in 2010. Africans have a rich history of involvement in the sciences. From Imhotep, our namesake's genius in designing Egypt's first pyramid and being credited as the world's first physician, to Canadian scientist Elijah McCoy's advancements in engineering, to Philip Imigwali's work on the supercomputer, Africans have been instrumental in the development of the scientific world. Despite this rich history, African Nova Scotian students rarely enter sciences and engineering. This could be because of a lack of role models, a lack of encouragement, or a lack of preparation. The reasons are complex. We want to change all of that. Imhotep Legacy Academy's focus is to increase the number of African Nova Scotians pursuing higher level education in science, technology, engineering, and mathematic fields. Combined, these disciplines are called STEM studies. Our after-school program provides African Nova Scotian students in grades 7, 8, and 9 with weekly STEM enrichment through an interactive, hands-on approach. University students mentor the junior high students and build relationships with them, becoming role models of the heights they can attain. At Imhotep, our goal is to help students realize their dreams and maybe make some new ones. When I grow up, um, I don't really know what I want to be, but I know that I want to work more in the studies of science. I want to be a doctor, a lawyer, or a dentist. I want to be a physiotherapist when I grow up. I want to be an engineer. I want to be a doctor that delivers babies.